So the second topic that we're going to talk about is uh, teaching using groups. Um, uh, so uh, this is something that is, I guess, maybe near and dear to my heart because I really was trying to create something that felt more personal. Um, you know, I came from sort of a more of a liberal arts kind of background, and and so like the large lecture class was, you know, something I was trying to figure out. You know, how do we, you know, how do we think about online education beyond like MOOCs or sort of this large, you know, kind of impersonal kind of feeling. Um, uh, so we had, you know, these video conference discussions, you know, the panel and um, the, the, um, the whole class is sort of, you know, watching these discussions and, and sort of interacting in this kind of chat interface, which is all built in. Um, the TA sort of monitors that and then will sometimes kick some of those um, things that are happening in chat to the whole panel so that there's sort of this nice interactive feel. Um, uh, one of the things I think that um, is both sort of a, a blessing and a curse is it's, that you can set up sort of separate group sections, um, which is great because then, you know, sort of everyone can go there and interact and they have sort of their own group space and, you know, they can, you know, create wikis there to answer each other's questions and things like that. Um, uh, but it makes the complexity uh, go up by maybe not quite an order of magnitude, but substantially. Um, uh, because now you have sort of, in addition, basically you have like a course for each of your discussion sections. Um, and so there's sort of pros and cons uh, of using that kind of uh, group interface, but um, uh, but but basically, um, there's yeah the group tools are are nice in that they sort of allow people to have that kind of a, a, a smaller feel I think, um, and I can sort of get access to each of them, but yeah I think that's mostly what I have to say here. All right, so I've used groups a lot too. Um, in some of my, I have an art class I teach where they're working in groups to make lesson plans. And so some neat things, there's different ways to go about uh, creating groups. You can, I have the, I know that I'm gonna have 10 groups, right? And I know that they won't have more than six students. And I usually enable self signups. So I could go and manually put students in groups or I can let them uh, put themselves in groups. And I usually go with the latter. And groups are neat because they can uh, select a, a group leader on their own, or you can select one, but you don't have to use that feature at all. I actually have not. And one great benefit of groups is that if they're working on a group assignment, that one person turns it in and everyone in the group automatically gets the same grade. And that's pretty neat and helps immensely with grading. And they also have their own group pages, so you can go and communicate with uh, the group itself without having to, to meet with them in person or sharing the message with the whole whole class. 